Alright guys, so in this video we're going to be going over how to remove the kidney grills on a FAE M3 and M4 um, and also how to change the colour of the V-brace bars at the back um, so you can paint it, you can wrap it, you can also buy covers that clip on the top um, but we're going to paint it, so let's go through it. Alright, so the paint we used is some Halford's caliper paint. We went with blue, obviously you can do any colour you want um, but with the grey we think the blue works the best. Um, so grab that and obviously a paintbrush as well. Now the first issue is getting the grills out. I had a quick look online and a lot of people were saying to undo these six screws on the top, lower the bumper a bit and get behind it and try and push it out. So we thought that would be easier, but in fact it just made it a lot worse. We wasted a lot of time trying to do it and it just made it a lot harder. So what you want to do is don't touch that and just go in from the front. So it will help if you know what you're doing. So this is the grill once we took it out. And there's three tabs on the top and three at the bottom. You want to push them in the centre. So the ones at the top, you need to push down. And then the three at the bottom, you need to push the tab up. And once you do that, it will slide out. Um, you will scratch your hands. It will take a bit of time. But once you get the first one out, you're good to go. The second one, as you can see here, you can stick your hand around the back. And then all the tabs will literally just push out. It'll be so much easier. We did use a screwdriver to um, pry the clips up. People said to use panel tools and trim removal tools, but we just found them too big to get at the back um, and they made no difference whatsoever. The thing that got it out for us was this little screwdriver, just a little flathead um, that allowed us to get it underneath the tab and push it up. So keep at it and they'll come out. All right, so once you get the grills out, the next step is to clean the V-brace bars. Um, so we grabbed some degreaser, just sprayed it onto it and literally wiped it off. Um, use a microfiber, some tissue, whatever. Just make sure all the debris is off and it's nice and clean. As you can see, it is like a triangle with a bar down the middle. Um, so you can paint whatever bits you want. I've seen some people just do the two bars on the side and that's it. But we decided to do all three bars, the middle bit and also the bottom bar that goes horizontally as well, um, just so that you can see the whole thing. But that's completely up to you. The good thing about using caliper paint is that it sort of heals itself. I don't know what the right word is, but when you paint with a paintbrush, you can usually see, like as you can see now, you can see the paint strokes, but... I don't know what it is inside this caliber paint, but once it dries, it like coats itself nice and smooth. So you can't see any of the strokes, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, just do a few coats, make sure you cover everything um, and you're pretty much good to go. It's super easy. But as you, as you probably saw by the start of the video and at the end, you'll see that it makes a really nice difference. Once you've done that, you want to let it sit for a few minutes and then put the grills back in. As you can see, it's super easy. They literally just slot straight back in. What we did find was easier if you start with the outer edge first. So put that bit in first and then push the rest in and it'll just slide in. But anyway, that's it for the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like rating. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Either that or DM me on Instagram. The link will be in the description below. And yeah, that's been it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.